Why would a RAM disk be used today? After reading this question I started thinking. Hey, what happened to those RAM disk utilities we used to run in the old DOS days? I haven't heard about RAM disks for years until today, but why? Memory is still faster than disk and we have a lot of both. Why aren't RAM disks more in use today? Why I use a RAM disk today, addressing the 32-bit RAM limit. Currently, I need to run a 32-bit operating system due to compatibility issues with some work software. My computer has much more RAM than Windows XP Professional can see, so I'm stuck with 3 GB of physical memory. When the 3 GB wall is hit, then the computer will move to use the page file. Luckily, software exists to allow you to create a RAM disk out of the RAM which is inaccessible to the operating system, in 32-bit environments. Superspeed has a program called RamDisk which will allow you to do this. Another option is the Sweet RamDisk software, they both slightly differ, see the features list to see which one meets your needs. I'm not specifically advertising any software, but those are a few I've come across which allow you to utilize some of the RAM outside of the addressable range of a 32-bit operating system. While it's not nearly as good as having the OS directly access the RAM, having a RAM-based page file is much better than a hard drive-based one. Scratch files, one more reason, applies to 64-bit as well. One more reason that you can use a RAM disk is for photo slash video editing, for example with the Adobe Creative Suite. Most Adobe programs can use a scratch file for temporary storage, similar to a page file. Placing the scratch file on a RAM disk would really help to increase the speed of video slash photo editing, especially when you're nearing the RAM limits of the operating system, or program defined maximums. January 2010 September 2012 Edit I recently came across this website, the patch was removed but I have mirrored it on my website here, which allows you to patch the Windows 7 kernel to allow the Pi of your operating system to extend the 4GB barrier, see this article mentioned in the previous link for more details on the actual mechanics behind the patch. This allows you to use over 4GB, up to 8GB, of RAM fully under Windows 7 32-bit. One really good fundamental reason why NEM disks aren't very common, you're better off using the memory as disk cache. You will already get most slash all of the performance benefit of a RAM disk in normal operation by just letting the memory be used as cache. Disk writes can happen in the background where the latency isn't such a big deal, assuming you have enough cache. You might still use a RAM disk in specialized circumstances, no writable disk. Boss are better at using RAM dash applications are loaded into RAM and swapped in and out more intelligently. RAM disks are volatile, data in RAM disappears with no power, so we can't rely on them. 32-bit architecture can only address just below 4 GB of RAM, you don't want to waste the precious RAM as a RAM disk. RAM is still quite expensive, relatively anyway. On Linux there's a file system called TMPFS, which is basically a RAM disk. As its name suggests, it's frequently used for slash TMP, because that folder only contains files that don't need to persist on reboot. Live CDs use a RAM disk for their entire hard drive. I'm <laughs> not